Hello friends today. Thank you for coming to hear the Bible being read. This is the YouTube channel, Nameless Preacher, where I read the scriptures. Friends, today we have reached 1 Kings chapter 16, and that's where we will begin. Thank you for coming. We pray that God will help us to understand and to read. Chapter 16 and verse 1 of 1 Kings. Then the word of the Lord came to Jehu, the son of Hanai, against Basha, saying, For as much as I exalted thee out of the dust, and made thee prince over my people Israel, and thou hast walked in the way of Jeroboam, and hast made my people Israel to sin, to provoke me to anger with their sins, behold, I will take away the posterity of Basha, and the posterity of his house, and will make thy house like the house of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. Him that dieth of Basha in the city shall the dogs eat. And him that dieth of his in the field shall the fowls of the air eat. Now the rest of the acts of Basha and what he did in his might, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Basha slept with his fathers and was buried in Terza, and Elah his son reigned in his stead. And also by the hand of the prophet Jehu, the son of Hanani, came the <clears throat> word of the Lord against Basha and against his house, even for all the evil that he did in the sight of the Lord, and provoking him to anger with the works of his hands, and being like the house of Jeroboam, and because he killed him. In the twenty and sixth year of Asa, king of Judah, began Elah, the son of Basha, to reign over Israel in Terza two years. And his servant Zimri, captain of half his chariots, conspired against him as he was in Terza, drinking himself drunk in the house of Arza, steward of his house in Terza. And Zimri went in and smote him and killed him in the twenty and seventh year of Asa, king of Judah, and reigned in his stead. And it came to pass when he began to reign, as soon as he sat on his throne, that he slew all the house of Basha. He left him not one that pisseth against the wall, neither of his kinsfolks, nor of his friends. Thus did Zimri destroy all the house of Basha, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake against Basha by Jehu the prophet for all the sins of Basha and the sins of Elah his son by which they sinned and by which they made Israel to sin and provoking the Lord God of Israel to anger with their vanities now the rest of the acts of Elah and all that he did are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel in the twenty and seventh year of Asa king of Judah did Zimri reign seven days in Terza and the people were encamped against Gibbethon which belonged to the Philistines and the people that were encamped heard say, Zimri hath conspired, and hath also slain the king. Wherefore all Israel made Omri the king of the host, king over Israel that day in the camp. And Omri went up from Gibbethon, and all Israel with him, and they besieged Terza. And it came to pass, when Zimri saw that the city was taken, that he went into the palace of the king's house, and burnt the king's house over him with fire, and died. For his sins which he sinned in doing evil in the sight of the Lord, in walking in the way of Jeroboam, and in his sin which he did to make Israel to sin. Now the rest of the acts of Zimri and his treason that he wrought, are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Israel? Then were the people of Israel divided into two parts. Half the people followed Tibni, the son of Ganath, to make him king and half followed Omri. But the people that followed Omri prevailed against the people that followed Tibni, the son of Ganas. So Tibni died and Omri reigned. In the thirty and first year of Asa, king of Judah, began Omri to reign over Israel. Twelve years, six years reigned he in Terza. And he bought the hill Samaria of Shamar for two talents of silver, and built on the hill, and called the name of the city which he built after the name of Shamar, owner of the hill, Samaria. But Omri wrought evil in the eyes of the Lord, and did worse than all that were before him. For he walked in the way of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, and in his sin, wherewith he made Israel to sin to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger with their vanities. Now the rest of the acts of Omri, which he did, and his might that he showed, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Omri slept with his fathers and was buried in Samaria, and Ahab his son reigned in his stead. And in the thirty and eighth year of Asa king of Judah began Ahab the son of Omri to reign over Israel. And Ahab the son of Omri reigned over Israel and Samaria twenty and two years. And Ahab the son of Omri did evil in the sight of the Lord above all that were before him. And it came to pass as if it had been a light, light thing for him to walk in the sins of 
Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, that he took his wife Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbal, king of the Zidonians, and went and served Baal and worshipped him. And he reared up an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, which he had built in Samaria. And Ahab made a grove, and Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel that were before him. In his days did heal the Bethlehite, Build Jericho. He laid the foundation thereof in Abram, his firstborn, and set up the gates thereof in his youngest son, Segab, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Joshua, the son of Nun. Friends, thank you for coming. That was 1 Kings chapter 16. Wow, there's lots to learn. I wonder if we can all hold it in our minds and be able to collect it in the future when we need it.